in Canada, where I live, there are essentially three types of insurance. Okay, I'm talking about protecting yourself and your family. Hi, everyone. Wanted to do our last video in our small mini series regarding finances. Now, here's a quick recap. So number one was your relationship with finances needs to be good. Second, you can then start budgeting. Third, we start investing. And now fourth is getting proper protection. Three and four can be interchanged. Some people feel like they need the protection before they start to invest. Some people feel like they want to invest before. It's a broad subject. Everyone's a little different. Nobody's going to be the same. Every client I sit with, I mean, they're all over the they're all over the place because every situation is different. But again, none of this works if your relationship with finances isn't good and if your budgeting sucks, this makes no sense and your investments won't work either. So, what I wanted to discuss in this video in particular was insurance. Now, I'm not covering which is best. I just want to lay it out and so that people have a good idea of exactly what they should be looking for and what they shouldn't look for. And not everything is the same. So first disclaimer is talk to a professional. Sit with someone that can explain insurance to you and the pros and the cons of having certain insurances. Because not all of them are built the same. One might be cheaper, but it's cheaper for a reason. One might be more expensive but that expense can prove amazing for you in the long run in canada where i live there are essentially three types of insurance okay i'm talking about protecting yourself and your family so first one is life insurance and that is a term insurance the second would be a permanent insurance and the third is living benefits so insurance for if you get sick or something else like that now there's disability insurance and all these other things as well that you can you can get so term insurance essentially is you can get it in term 5 10 15 20 you can get it all types of term term is like renting your policy there's no value at the end god forbid something happens to you though within that term that you bought it for, you, well, your beneficiary gets the benefit of you passing away. Now, permanent insurance, there's different types of permanent insurance, but the key with permanent insurance is that it needs to be built for you specifically, because this is something that can last permanently, and it's something that can be passed along. Now, again, I'm not suggesting that Term is not as good as permanent because, again, everyone differs. So I am not, again, this is not a video about me saying what kind of insurance is better. I'm just showing you or trying to explain that sometimes permanent insurance might be a better suit or might be better suited to an individual than term insurance. Those things do happen. So regardless of what you do, and what kind of insurance you get, it's important that you understand how that insurance is gonna work five, 10, 15, 20, however many years down the road. Because it's one thing to buy insurance now and be like, yeah, I'm good, I'm covered, but not understand how that's gonna look like 15 or 20 years down the road when you're probably really gonna need it. So again, a lot of people are adverse to having insurance thinking, well, I don't need this. And then God forbid you have something that happens. So most people don't even think about how all of this works until God forbid something does happen. And what do we normally see right now, especially in this day and time? Go fund me, right? Go fund me because this person got, you know, something horrible happened to this person. However, if they had sat with a professional and somebody that could have explained, for instance, critical illness, which covers them in, in case of like, in most companies have 25 different conditions, they would have received a payout tax-free money so they 
can deal with everything. It's important to find a professional to be able to sit with and discuss all your options. Because again, all of this, as great as insurance is, still needs to fit inside your budget. And if it doesn't, it will never make sense to you. And you will never look at it as, oh, yeah, that's that's a good idea. Especially young people right now. They're like, I don't need that stuff. I'll look at it when I'm in my, you know, 30s and 40s. And what happens? Insurance is more expensive because insurance at an older age is going to cost you more than if you're an 18 year old or even much younger. So your parents could set up a life insurance policy for a child and set them up for life. So that's the other takeaway I want you guys to understand. The wealthy think about insurance totally different than the average Canadian. The average Canadian working a nine to five, they're looking at insurance as this thing that, God forbid something happens to me, my family's taken care of, right? That's That's the average Canadian. Now, the wealthy are looking at it as, okay, where can I put some money so that the government doesn't take as much of my money when I want to go and retire and do other things. And how can I pass on tax-free money to my kids, to my business, to anything else that I want when I pass away? So again, talk to a professional before purchasing anything. Do not purchase anything if you do not understand the ins and the outs of that policy. What it's going to do 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. What it's going to look like for you or your loved ones, okay? This needs to be something that you understand. And then ask for options because not everything is built the same, but still ask questions. And if you're unsure about what kind of questions to ask, ask down here below. This is this is my business. This is what I do with. with. However, I want everyone to understand I am not pushing my business here. I am here to help you navigate and make sure that four of these things are in place for your financial future because it's so important to have. So again, none of this works unless your relationship with finances is good. You are budgeting, you are investing, and you have some protection. So again, thank you for sticking with me through this mini series. And now that we're close to 500 subscribers, I am looking to do that video uh, with the first business owner. So look forward to that in the next week or so. And you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon.